in the industrial revolution of the 19th century, what humanity basically learned to produce was all kinds of stuff, like textiles and shoes and weapons and, and vehicles. And this was enough for very few countries that underwent the revolution fast enough to subjugate everybody else. What we're talking about now is like a second industrial revolution, but the product this time will not be textiles or machines or vehicles or even weapons. The product this time will be humans themselves. We are basically learning to produce bodies and minds. Bodies and minds are going to be, the, I think, the two main products of the next wave of all these uh, uh, changes. And if there is a gap between those that know to produce bodies and minds and those that do not, then this is far greater than anything we saw before in, in history. And this time, if you're not part of the revolution fast enough, then you probably become, become extinct. Once you know how to produce bodies and brains and minds, so cheap labor in Africa or South Asia or wherever, it, it simply counts for nothing. Again, I think that the biggest question, in, maybe in economics and politics of the coming decades, will be what to do with all these useless people. I don't think we have an economic model to, for that. My best guess, which is just a guess, is that uh, food will not be a problem. Uh, with th that kind of technology, you will be able to produce food for, to feed everybody. The problem is more uh, boredom and how, what to do with them, and how will they find some sense of meaning in life when they are basically meaningless, worthless. My best guess at present is a combination of drugs and computer games.